I met him about three years ago for the first time. But I, I took me like a year to start training with him because I heard the stories about how he was crazy, how he was, you know, he made his players go through the worst. Yeah, I mean, you know, I have the reputation. Some people call me crazy man. Uh, <laughs> I have a lot of uh, nicknames, you know, people have for me because, you know, I, I ask them to do difficult things. And if you're just watching, you don't really know what's going on. Put it, everything quick. You know, it just looks like I'm just berating or uh, harassing the kids to get them to do things. They always tell me about his workouts and stuff like that. You know, like, I thought it was just gassing, you know, like, it's not that hard and stuff. I came, I was ready to throw up and stuff like that. Like, he was, he was tough. If you want to see what it's like to be you know, or find out what you have within you, this hidden reservoir. And a lot of these guys have all this untapped talent that they've never even realized is there. And you, like, you have to dig for it. You have to do the dirty work to get it out. But you have to struggle, you know? Like, this this is all struggle. Like, you struggle. And when you start seeing, like, improvements in your game, you're like, dang, like, I'm gonna keep doing this, you know what I'm saying? And you see who he works with and stuff, like, you just see results. You're gonna be like, yeah, I wanna be like that. Yeah, like, I wanna, I wanna make myself better. You know, now, I like, I like coming. Like, on Sundays, getting up early, it don't bother me no more. Before I came, uh, I used to work out once or twice a week. You know, he turned me into a seven-day monster. Yeah, tough KJ. Seeing how hard he works, you know, he gets up like 4.30 some mornings, drives up to Raleigh, then go to Greensboro, then go back to Raleigh, then down here. Like how hard he works, it just shows me how hard I need to be working in my, in my field. Just seeing somebody like that and being around him is contagious. I feel like it's more than um, just a trainer um, and a trainee relationship. Like, I look at him, Gil is like, I mean, I know he's like older than me, but almost like a big brother, like a, I guess another fatherly figure in my life. Whenever you need him, and any time of the night he answers the calls, uh, he takes us his bag. He helps with a lot of stuff on the court, and all. he mentors me a lot. He's like a big brother, mentor, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> any, anytime I have a problem, like, Outside of basketball, like I can, I can go to him, I can talk to him, because he just has like so much knowledge and stuff like that. He been through everything that we've been through now. So he just teaches us how to get through it or, you know, how to get around it. Like, I'm, I'm glad I have someone like that in my corner.